Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lee. I'm Boop. As always, please like, subscribe, share the love, share the video, but enough of that. My wife and I were out in a store, and as you've seen, my wife's been painting quite a bit if you follow our Instagram, and she fell in love with an easel. But I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> she didn't love it that much. I happen to know somebody that likes wood. Likes wood a lot. So my wife's looking at this easel that she doesn't want to pay for and she's like, um, why can't you build that for me? And my first response was, I've never built an easel. And she was like, and? <laughs> not an appropriate response. Apparently not. So we come home that night, I thought about it. I took a couple photographs of the item there in the store of just the box, because it wasn't out. So I just took photographs of the box and thanks to Google, of course, came home, went in the garage, about an hour, hour and a half later, this was the finished product. Actually, this is a canvas. That's a canvas. That's a, that's a canvas. Let's uh, put the canvas in the easel. <laughs> now, I will tell you it's not perfect. It's not. There's a couple of things we do differently. And, and I think that's it. You know, being our first time making the easel, you, you learn as you go. And I certainly have. Now, I think as she starts using it more, because as you can see how clean and pretty it is. It won't be for long. It, uh, as she uses it a couple times, I think we'll find a couple ways, a couple things that we finesse and tweak and change along the way. But all in all, I must admit, guys, I'm really pleased with it. All of the product we had on hand, as we usually do. Hashtag free project. <laughs> and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. How about while I initiate the easel you explain the process okay so initially started out with just the photographs like i said earlier from the store um hinges we had on hand wood we had on hand so i knew i didn't want to make it too heavy because she has to to move it you know quite a bit so i found a very thin piece of front board that i use quite frequently in a lot of projects it's very sturdy but yet it holds up well and it's very lightweight um, I cut it out a larger size than what she normally paints on her canvases. She normally paints on a 12 by 12 canvas, but I wanted to give her room to grow. The canvas that you saw on there earlier in the video was a 24 by 24, which fit quite nicely on there. So I'm looking at two hinges, a dowel rod, and a couple small pieces of essentially one by fours. Because all I did was cut the frame. Once I had my backer board cut, to the size that I wanted. I just framed it out on the back side, created a small frame around it. And then I created the bottom frame. And what holds the two frames together is my hinges. Now on the bottom part of it, to create the teeth mark, I actually used my scroll saw. And in that respect, I just drew it out pretty much by hand, scroll sawed it out, and then traced it onto the next piece of board. So I tried to make it as close as possible since I did hand draw it and scroll saw that out. Put a drill through the end of the boards for the dowel rod to slide through, and voila, we had it done. It really was very simple. Took maybe an hour, hour and a half to make. So essentially I have two hinges, one dowel rod, one eight foot one by four, and a thin piece of uh, wafer board that you can buy at your local hardware store, already pre-cut. Um, and that's it, guys. Voila. I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised there's not more paint on the uh, easel. It's the first one. <laughs> Plenty of time for that. I actually almost painted this easel. And then I was like, um, yeah, that's probably not going to happen because I know my wife. I'm just going to have paint all over. It's going to look beautiful. Guys, first time using the easel. Loved it. Worked perfectly. Guys, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the painting because she's using her words. Oh, she's thinking of the name. All of her prints have names. What's the name?
We'll have to enclose that later. Yeah, I'll work on that. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for showing love. We'll catch you guys next time. Toodles. Tickle my fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Done.